Alright, by his grace, this week we have a, a proclamation from the prophet Jeremiah. Uh, he is known as the weeping prophet because he wept so much for the sins of his people, the Israelites, in their sinfulness, in their stubbornness, in their disobedience. He wept because he preached to them and preached to them, but they were always, they knew what the Word of God said, but they kept on sinning. And so he is known as a weeping prophet. Very, very uh, true. And nowadays, don't we have something similar? We find ourselves hearing what the Word of God says, but what have we done? So, uh, to remind us of what the Word of God says and what the prophets and the pastors and the leaders and elders and the evangelists have said, let us hear what the Word of God proclaim through the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah 25 verses 4 to 7 and reading from the King James Version, this is what the Word of God says. Jeremiah 25, verse 4. And the Lord hath sent unto you all his servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, but ye have not hearkened nor inclined your ear to hear. 5. They, that means the prophets, said, Turn ye again, now every one, from his evil way, and from the evil of your doings, and dwell in the land that the Lord hath given unto you and to your fathers forever and ever. 6. And go not after other gods to serve them and to worship them, and provoke me not to anger with the works of your hands, and I will do to you no hurt. 7. Yet ye have not hearkened unto me, said the Lord, that ye might provoke me to anger with the works of your hands to your own hurt. Amen. Now let us hear uh, what we have proclaimed uh, based upon Jeremiah 25. And this has been personalized to our soul. So here is uh, the proclamation. Jeremiah 25 verses 4 to 7. Oh, my most gracious, merciful, heavenly, and almighty Holy Father, Hallowed be your name. Thank you, righteous Father, for granting me another glorious day of health and life because of my union with your begotten Son, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and his atoning blood sacrifice on Calvary's cross. Thank you for patiently waiting for me to repent of my sins and not allowing me to perish in my willful disobedience and stubbornness. Heavenly Father, you have sent all your servants, the prophets, pastors, elders, evangelists, fathers, and even used today's media to remind us, rising early and proclaiming them, 
but we have not listened nor inclined our ear to hear your gospel truth and the consequences of perishing in the lake of fire. They said, Repent now every one of his or her evil way and his or her evil doings and dwell in the land that you, our Jehovah Jireh, has given to us and our fathers forever and ever. Do not go after other gods, satanic, demonic, occultic, and worldly habits of unbelief, unfaithfulness, hatred, anger, resentment, divisions, and immorality to serve them and worship them. And do not provoke me, your almighty heavenly Father, to anger with your idolatry and adulterous lifestyles, and I will not harm you. Yet we have not listened to you, righteous Father, that we might provoke you to anger with the works of our hands to our own hurt and destruction in hell. Please forgive me, Lord, for I have heard your word and genuinely repent of my sins and surrender my will, heart, spirit, and soul to you for your salvation and faith in my Savior. Heavenly Father, thank you for accepting my supplications through the righteousness and blessed name of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Jeremiah 25, 4-7. Amen.